Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add mixed numbers. And as you can see, there are two problems on your screen that we're going to go through in order to get this concept down. So let's jump right in to number one. And we have three and two fifths plus two and a half. So the first thing I like to do, I like to set this problem up vertically, which means up and down. So I have three and two fifths plus two and one half. My fractions are lined up and my whole numbers are lined up. Now, just like when we add fractions that don't have the whole number involved, we need a common denominator. So we still need a common denominator for these problems if we don't have one. And obviously we have a five and a two, so we don't have the same denominator for the fractional part of these mixed numbers. So we're going to need to rename each of these with that common denominator. So I like to come to the side and think, okay, what is going to be my common denominator for a five and a two? It happens to be 10. So I need to rename both of these mixed numbers, the fractional part, with the common denominator of 10. So I gotta think to myself here, five times two is 10. So I need to do that same thing to the numerator or top in order to find an equivalent fraction here. So two times two is four. I'm not changing the value of the problem. I'm just renaming with a different denominator. So they both have a common denominator of 10. So let's do the second one. Two times five gives me that common denominator of 10. So I need to do the same thing to the top in order to get an equivalent fraction. One times five is five. And if you think about it, a half is the same as five out of 10. Again, we didn't change the value of the problem. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add. So four plus five gives me nine, keep our common denominator of 10 the same. So nine tenths is going to be our fractional part. Now we need to do the whole numbers. Three plus two is five. Now you always check to see if the fractional part can be simplified. And in this case, it cannot. So our final answer is five and nine tenths. So let's jump into number two here. We have nine and seven eighths plus eight and three fourths. So I'm going to line up my problem. Nine and seven eighths plus eight and three fourths. So let's take a look at our fractional part. We do not have a common denominator, so we're going to need to rename with a common denominator. So let's think, what's going to be a common denominator for an eight and a four? Well, the common denominator is going to be eight. So our first fraction, nine and seven eighths, already has a denominator of eight. So we do not need to rename or change that fraction at all. So we're just going to transfer the seven eighths over. Now three fourths, we're going to need to rename. And we know four times two gives us the denominator of eight. So we need to do the same thing to the top. Three times two is six. So three fourths is the same as six eighths. They hold the same value we just renamed it so it had a denominator of eight. Now we're ready to add because the fractional parts have a common denominator. Seven plus six is 13. Keep the denominator of eight. Nine plus eight is 17. So our answer is 17 and 13 eighths. Well, our fractional part is an improper fraction, so we don't want to leave it like that. It's more than one whole. So we're going to change it to the mixed number, and we need to combine the whole numbers together. So that's 17 plus whatever whole number we get out of that improper fraction. So we can think of it like this. 17 plus, well, 
To get improper to mixed number, we need to do the top divided by the bottom, 13 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 can we pull out of 13? Well, one whole group with a remainder of 5, 5 left over, keep our denominator of 8 the same. So 13 eighths equals 1 and 5 eighths. Well, we want to combine our whole numbers. That's 17 and that one whole. So our answer is actually going to have 18 holes plus, we don't want to forget about that 5 eighths. So 18 and 5 eighths is our final answer for number 2. So there you have it. There's how you add mixed numbers. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.